Hello YouTube. Today I am going to do my first ever video. This is going to be on an unboxing and my initial thoughts on the GWG 1000 Shockwave. It is part of the Mudmaster series. Um, this is a solar watch and it has so many features such as a compass, it can tell you altitude um, or elevation I should say when you're when you're hiking. Um, all the videos I've seen on the reviews of this watch have all been done by men. Not one has given you dimensions on whether or not it would fit a female. And I like the watch. I'm really hard on equipment, gear, clothing, watches, boots, that sort of thing. So I liked this watch knowing that I could beat the shit out of it and it should hold up under my <laughs> my care. Okay, so let's get to it. When you open it up, it comes with the manual, which is a book, a very nice metal case, and inside is the watch. I would say I'm probably an average female as far as the, my wrist is concerned. Um, it is quite substantial in size. My last watch was also a men's watch. It, if I measured the inside when I had it closed down, I think it was approximately six inches in diameter. It is quite big. And it looks like it will tighten down fine as far as being able to secure it. I like my watches a bit loose. I like them to, to move around a bit. I don't like something that's, that's too tight on my wrist. Um, I can still tighten it down further if I would like to. I have three more notches I can go down because uh, I'm on the fourth one now. I don't know. It, it is quite big. Um, it does sort of curve over the side of my, my wrist, which I was surprised it probably would actually, it wouldn't if I tightened it down further because I can almost fit a full finger underneath. But that's okay. Like I said, I like my watches loose anyways. I guess probably because your women are more used to having bracelets, so things aren't usually cinched down on our wrists as much as it was with men. Well, that's my initial thoughts. It's it's quite substantial. I think I'll probably get used to it. And the weight is quite heavy as well. Um, I don't know. I might do another review later and let you know how I get on and whether or not I still like it. But I think I'm. I'm going to try it and see how it works. Okay, well, this is The Traveling Prepper, and I hope you enjoyed my review. And subscribe and like, and come back for more. I'll let you know how I get on. Have a great day!